my name is Ryan, and today I will be uh, assisting you in the challenge four in Replit. Uh, okay, so first let's read the challenge. Challenge four. You create a new app to suggest people new friends to provide a more satisfying experience. You need to take some information from users and store them. Take name, age, and hometown from two different users and store their information in the list given above. If users have at, le at least one thing in common, name or age or hometown, suggest them to be friends. So that's this challenge four. And okay, so in order to complete this uh, challenge, we actually have three methods, but first let's just start with the basic stuff. First, you just copy and paste uh, the lists uh, as you see here. And uh, first, it's an empty list because we didn't uh, like ask the user to uh, get in the credentials yet. But yeah. Okay, then we actually have to ask the user um, about his his or her name and her home his or her hometown and the age. So um, in order to ask the name, uh, we have to write string in front of it too. So the uh, the computer just knows that it's a string. And after we ask the name of it, we append it to the list as user one name. Then we ask user one the age. And in front of the age, I don't know if you can spot it, but there's an integer because ages are always integers. And yeah, and then we have to append that too. And then it's the same with the hometown, only we don't write anything in front of it because the computer already knows that it's just a normal string. And after we write, after the user puts in the hometown, uh, we just append that to the list too. And then we just do the following, the same steps to user two. Uh, and with that, I mean name, age, and hometown. After we appended all of them, we come to the methods. So there's method one, which is very easy, but takes the longest and the most text uh, to write this code. And then there's method two, which is much more easier, but uh, it like much more shorter, but it requires to know and to uh, deal with indexes. Um, but I'm going to uh, explain you that in a few minutes. And then we got method three, which is... Um, which is out of this world. Actually, that's the shortest and the best method to do it. But yeah, I'm going to explain you all of it. So let's start with method one. So method one is actually very easy. It's using uh, variables. And we just use the if, elif, and else clause. And so here you can see that we say if user one name equal equal user two name, print you can be friends. So that means that you just tell the computer that um, the computer asks itself, is the user one name and user two name the same? If it's the same, it says you can be friends. Then we say elif, which is an add-on to the if. It's like another if, but it's an add-on within the if. Then we say elif, user one age, um, equal equal user two age, print you can be friends. So this is the same only with the age. If, they're, if the age is the same of the two user inputs, uh, then it just prints you can be friends. And then we do one more elif for the hometown, and that's the following again. But then we have a else, which means that uh, they don't have anything in common, so we just print, you have nothing in common. Uh, that means that they just don't have any uh, information that matches. So that was method one, using variables. Now we come to method two, which is a little bit harder, but uh, not that hard, actually. The method three is harder to understand, but I'll explain it all to you. So method two, it's use the lists with the indexes. So this is pretty easy too. Uh, we just put a if again, and we say if user one info within the, um, I don't want what you call them, but within these check marks, let's say, you put the zero. And then you say uh, is the same like user two info zero or user one info one. Okay, so I'm going to explain it to you. So... First of all, uh, we got a list, um, and the list is full. And so what do we put in first in the list? We put the name. So the name is the zero element. Actually, it's the first element, but in coding, you call the first element zero. That's the name. 
Then we have the H, which is the first element, and you can see that right here. And then we have the hometown, which is the second element, which is here. And what we actually write the computer to do is that we say, if the first element slash zero in code uh, is the same, if user one, the first element of user one is the same, like the first element of user two, or if the second element of user one and user two, or the third element of user one and user two is the same, print you can be friends. So what this does is that it just checks if the infos uh, within the elements of both users are the same. And if are, if there are any like, uh, if, if even one is the same, then it just says you can be friends. But if none are uh, friends, uh, like none are in common, then it just says print you have nothing in common. And there's where we use the else. But one thing that you have to be careful is that the first element in a code is always called zero. So actually the zero here is the first element and the one here is the second element. So that's the H and the two here in both of them is the third element. So don't forget to start from zero, not from one. Yeah, that's method two. Now we come to method three, which is actually the most complicated, but it's easy to understand too. Two. So method three, uh, let's read. Use lists with iteration over elements over the list and if statement. So what we do here is that uh, we just write this code for info and user one info, if info and user two info, print you may want to be friends. And then we print break. Okay, so let's break this down in steps. So the for info and user one info, means that the computer checks every like iteration, every element in the user one info um, folder. So this is the user one info list. And what we just say here is that for info and user one info, it says that just check all of the um, like infos in the list, in the first list. And then when we say if info and user two info, it means that it like kind of takes both of the information from user one info and user two info and compares them. And after it compares it, it like if there, if there's anything in common, it says print, you may want to be friends. And if, if like there's nothing in common, it doesn't even run this task. Like after it does that and that it knows that there's nothing in common. So it just doesn't print anything. And why do we say break? We say break because uh, that's like, because we only have three and after that it should just stop doing the calculation. So those were the three methods. I hope you had fun listening. Goodbye.